So today I'm going to be doing an interview with my mom, interviewing her on some motherhood questions. She has nine kids. Did you always want a bunch of children? Mm, that's a good question. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back and welcome if you're new. So today I'm going to be doing an interview with my mom. This is my mom, by the way, so, I'm, so yeah, I'm gonna be interviewing her on some motherhood questions. Um, as you guys know, she has nine kids, or um, so we have a big family, and so there's a lot of people who have a lot of questions for big families, and so I thought I'd bring my mom on here and kind of just answer some of them. So let's go ahead and we'll start. Mom, you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? Okay, well, <clears throat> my name's Emily D. Meyer, and I do have nine children, guilty as charged. <laughs> um, obviously, Sabrina's my oldest. Um, then I have a son, Reuben, then Nicholas, then Samuel. Then I have twins, Sarah and Susanna, and then Isaac, Abigail, and Isabella. And of course, as I said, Sabrina's the oldest and Isabella is a baby and she's about to turn seven. So she's pretty excited about that. So 16 <laughs> years, right? 16 years. Yeah. Between Difference. Us. Yes. Which is awesome. It's really fun. Um, so let's see. Gosh, I was like 22 when I got married to John and um, had wonderful, almost 19 years with him and nine children. And <laughs> then he passed away five years ago, just last week, actually. And um, anyway, in that time, yeah, we had nine children and had lots of adventures and uh, ran a construction company that I'm currently running now again um, and alone. <laughs> and um, anyway, we have always homeschooled. I was homeschooled. Um, lots of home births, hospital births too. Um, goodness. I don't know. What else should I tell about That's myself? We love to do 4-H. We love animals. Oh, yeah. We love the country. We like visiting the city. We all love to travel. No, that's good. Awesome. All right. So let's go ahead and give her the first question. <laughs> and so, Mom, have you always wanted to be a mom? Mm, yes. Always wanted to be a mom. Obviously, as a little girl, you know, playing with dolls and all that, <laughs> I, I loved. Um, and watching my mom, you know, and how much she loved babies always wanted me, you know, gave me the desire to be a mom. So really even my grandmother, you know, loved being a mom. So it's, I think that's passed down quite a bit, <laughs> obviously yeah. so. And, um, so yes, I always wanted to be a wife and a mom and yeah, always. Awesome. Did you always want a bunch of children? Mm, that's a good question. Um, depends on what you think of as a bunch. <laughs> I remember more than four more than four <laughs> right I remember at one point there were several points in life where I, I came from a family of three um uh, although my my parents had wanted more it just never happened but um anyway and, and there was a big age gap between me and, and my next sibling is seven and a half years and then ten years and so I always wanted you know I mean that was great but I always wanted my kids to have you know lots of little ones with them um, so I always thought big families were cool and my best friend came from a family of 10, you know, and though that was crazy, I thought it was cool too. So advantages and disadvantages to both, but I always thought that was kind of a, a romanticized idea. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Did I picture myself in that role? Kind of halfway in between. I used to think I wanted six children and all boys. And then when I had three crazy. boys in a row and thankful that I had Sabrina first, I decided that I was nuts, but I love my boys. Um, but anyway, I had thought we had our first four and we thought, well, maybe we're just done. And then at that point I, I did some reading and some soul searching and so did my husband and we became convinced that if children were a blessing, why would we want to limit that? And then we had twins <laughs> and then three more. So um, at that point, yes, when your father and I got married, we, we wanted a lot of kids. We just weren't sure of the number. Okay, cool. Um, let's see here. Oh, so, um, what made you, well, I guess that kind of already, you already answered that. What made you and dad decide to have so many kids? But if you want to elaborate on that a little bit, right. just like, what was the big thing in mm -hmm. you at your marriage that okay. really said, okay, we want to have, more, have kids. more Yeah. You know, I think it was just trying to decide that. Do we decide to cut that off and be done? Mm-hmm. And is that right? Because we always tried to 
be biblical. Okay, what does God have to say about that? Um, what's right to do? You know, not just what we want, but what's what's good to do. Um, mm -hmm. And so it came from that desire of wanting to do what's right because we wanted God's blessing in our lives. And so um, we started thinking, well, four, you know, we, Samuel, the youngest of the four, yeah. was like, you know, several years old. And it was like, well, we could just be done and, and move on and other things in life. And so it was a, that brought up that question. And I read the book, uh, Be Fruitful and Multiply oh, by Nancy so Campbell, mm -hmm. and which I think is excellent. Some people don't like it. I think it's great. Um, the point of the book is just to bring up um, biblical principles of how to think along those lines. Like, like what does God really say? Okay. And so that I just became convicted that for me, it really wasn't, it really would kind of be a selfish reason to not have more children. And I loved having babies. So why yeah. wouldn't I want more? Right. Um, part of that was me just trying to get my body back in shape. And I did do that. I took a horrible boot camp classes that I, I thought I was going to die from, but got in shape and immediately got pregnant with twins. <laughs> but, um, anyway, yeah, it was just that. And your dad, you know, looking in scripture and, you know, really, just finding, you know, we just think that for us and, and what we've researched that it really was convicting to us that again, if God says children are a blessing, why would I limit being blessed? Mm -hmm. And if God says that, is he not capable of taking care of us if we fully trust him? So that was our, that was our journey there. Awesome. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Yeah. Well, in that book, I actually haven't read it yet, but yeah. it is, I've heard a lot of people say it's a really good book. Made me think, you know, she's yeah. just really talks about just children as being wonderful. You right. know, children are kind of like flowers. How can you say the garden's full? I don't want any more. <laughs> right. You know, and I'm not, I'm not judging other people. There's different yeah. reasons mm -hmm. sometimes why people you know, can't have more or right. things happen. And, um, but for us, that was the right, right choice. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. So uh, another question is, did you ever think that you'd have nine kids before <laughs> your second was born? So no. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Um, I remember when I was pregnant with your brother, Ruben, I'm very excited, um, but you were, I think, 11 or 12 months when I discovered that. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, okay, wow, I guess this is what I'm doing next. And um, <laughs> at that point, no, I didn't ever yeah. think really about a number I guess yeah right. I didn't think that I would probably have more than four to six yeah no that's funny. <laughs> just didn't enter my thoughts <laughs> yeah no that makes sense all right another question is did you ever feel like it was all too much like just oh, ugh, oh like, yeah wow <laughs> <laughs> I still do sometimes <laughs> no not really anymore um yes I did I remember with your brother Samuel so my fourth <laughs> Um, totally got unexpectedly pregnant with him and I had just lost all my baby weight and, you know, got in shape and I had, I had started my own business and, and I was excited about that. And, uh, your dad had quit our job to go like all on his own. And so mm. money was tight and we weren't sure what we we're going to, all this like stuff going on that was unsettling. And I found out I was pregnant and I remember crying, you know, how hard this is, you know, I'm telling my husband and losing it and. And you know, of course, I would never trade Samuel for anything. So um, yeah. it's just so funny because you do. And then the time that you and Ruben, I was pregnant with Nicholas, my third, sick, sitting on the couch, waiting for John to get home from work so he could take them. And they were taking <laughs> Cheerio boxes and crackers and like all over the couch and then stomping <laughs> them into the floor, making the camera rock. Um, and I was like <laughs> crying in the chair, get them away from me. <laughs> And he came home and he's like, you kids clean this up. You know, they were what, three and yeah, two maybe. maybe two. And uh, said, you go take a bath and relax. You know, so he was great with stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, and then there's times too now where I'm just like, ah, you know, <laughs> the house is crazy or I'm trying to run everybody here and there. Um, but the blessings just far outweigh mm, the difficulties. Yeah. That's for sure. I will never be lonely. It's a good lesson. <laughs> yeah. Okay, another question is what, was it like having so many kids? Like, what was what was a regular day for you? <laughs> no, no, I know day. not every day was regular. <laughs> no normal But, days. like, what, mm -hmm. yeah, what's a good day to just say, okay, this was our kind of our schedule? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, those rare occasions yes. where it all happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, like, now or when all of you were I at home? I would say all of us. When like, all of when you Isabella were at home, was Dad was still born, around. Yes. All, okay. Yep. Um, 
I would say a normal day was um, you know, getting up, obviously, which is a project mm -hmm. in and of itself. Um, yep. Buddying up. The kids would buddy up or you'd have a buddy. An older one would have a buddy younger system. one. Yeah, the buddy system. Yay. And um, you'd get your teeth brushed and their beds made right. And everybody would come down, eat some quick breakfast and do you know get some schoolwork going mm -hmm. you know and they'd be all over the house you know somebody at the table <laughs> somebody at the chair someone in the living room someone might be outside doing their reading you know um whatever worked for you or up in their bedroom and then everybody come down for lunch you know and we'd be doing laundry there'd be phone calls the dog might run away twice you know that kind mm -hmm. of thing yep. <laughs> um dad would call or he'd be there working on a bid you know or yeah. he'd pop in and mm -hmm. say hi and disrupt school which we loved and um, i was fine with that yeah that was always <laughs> great um and then we, you know, we think about dinner. Sometimes we'd have you make dinner, mm -hmm. or sometimes uh, the children. You know, we'd all kind of help with that, and um, or I'd have it going in the crock pot. And there'd usually again be phone calls or errands to run, you know, in the middle of things. Um, there was usually a baby to nurse, a baby to lay down for a nap, diapers to change, dishes to wash, and children to help with math or spelling or whatever. Yep. And you just kind of do it and work it all in as it happens and comes to you. And then you'd find yourself at dinner. And that was great because <laughs> everything was done. Put the school books away. And it was time to just sit around the table. And chill. Relax. Yep. Chill. And just be funny. And have visit fun. With dad, honestly. And visit with dad. And, and we'd ask him about his day. He'd ask about ours. Some days it'd be like, oh my gosh, this and this and this happened. And. And he'd be like, or, you know, either and with him or us. be very quiet at the table. <laughs> yeah, right. And we'd listen or, you know, we'd want to know about how it went. You know, did you work with your hog today? You know, get it ready for the fair. And and uh, yeah. then after dinner, if it was in the summer, we'd often be outside and do chores or mow the grass or swim in the pool. We had a big stand-up pool. Um, That's why I do devotions a lot, too. Yep. Mm -hmm. we? And then he would either after dinner, you know, grab the Bible or we'd sit in the living room and we'd often sing um, together. And um, then he would read. He would often read in the morning to himself. Oh, he yeah. liked to get up before everyone else and he would find him reading his Bible. And little Isaac would often get up with him and be like, can you read to me that? And that was our little time. But um, yeah, that would be a normal day. And then we'd all clean up the kitchen together. And, you know, we often watch a movie in the evenings, relax, just roll around on the floor. The guys would wrestle a lot. Yep. And be all fun. sweaty and the floor would be bouncing and we'd be like, okay, we're going to go do this. Or, you know, we'd have dessert or something. But that was a normal day. Very cool. Yes. Yeah, it was always but fun. for sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Um, oh. Uh, was it was it hard once you had a bunch of kids, a bunch of us actually, <clears throat> to connect with other moms? So like, mm. I know that this can be a thing where a lot of moms of big families don't have a whole lot in common with other moms mm. because of stuff. So like, could you elaborate mm. on that? Like, did you have issues with other moms that had mm -hmm. negative mm -hmm. ideas about you or oh. your family like, or about having a lot of kids? Yeah. Oh, okay. How'd you um, deal with that, I guess? Yeah. I don't... Most people would do this thing um, <laughs> where they would come up to you and be like, I could never, you know, uh -huh. how do you do that? Like you're some saint, you know, and you, or you're really whacked out or both, you know. And I would use... That would be my the main thing where they would feel like they couldn't connect. Okay, and I so would always was, say... Okay. I, this is just what I do. Like, I'm I'm not sitting there saying you have to do all this right. lift like I do. This is what we've done. Mm -hmm. And this is our life, you know. And so um, there were occasionally people that just couldn't relate. And it was almost like, like they maybe just couldn't even have a conversation because they couldn't relate. And they'd be like, well, no, that, you know, this is just life. You have yours. I have mine. We all have kids or we don't, you don't have kids or whatever. Right. Um, so that would come up on occasion. And I would be like, this is just what I do. You, you know, it's just your life. You know, God gives you grace mm -hmm. to do what you have to do. And it isn't the same as someone else's grace. Right. And so um, that would happen. Um, I think we, I could usually relate to a mom with just, okay. you know, who had a couple kids. Um, I remember feeling as a young mom that I couldn't relate to someone with a lot of kids. Yeah. Because I thought the same thing. Oh, my goodness. You know, how do so they many. do that? How do they, Yeah, I, I could never. <laughs> 
<laughs> it, it just, it's just, it's just life. We we take it in slices as it comes to us. Thankfully, and you right? don't, you can't think of the overall picture or you would get overwhelmed. How am I ever going to raise nine children and have them all come out normal? Well, they don't anyway. It's okay. I'm not normal. So why would they be? <laughs> well, that wouldn't be fun. But... I'm not normal either. So. Right. <laughs>